Hey, what's up? Hello and welcome. My name is Maya and today we have an episode of Whimsy Stories. And before we get started, I want to give a shout out to the Simmers. I appreciate you all so much. Today we are going to have Noelle's third and final baby. And I think it's going to be very drama filled because I don't know if you remember, but her wife doesn't know who the real baby father is. So we're going to play all that out today. If you're excited, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. But yeah, let's get started. Right now is the first day of summer break, so all the kids are home. <laughs> well, Jameson is home from school, and I think he's going to go outside. I want him to ride his bike before breakfast today, so practice riding your bike. He ages up, I think, in a week? Six days. Yeah, he has six days until he ages up which I'm excited for. He's so cute. I love him. Hennessy actually ages up, I believe, tomorrow, but she's in here talking to her mom. Yeah, her birthday's tomorrow. She's level five communication. I think we can get thinking to level five if we have uh, a toy we can play with. I think this works on thinking maybe. I don't know if it does. She's gonna go play. <laughs> she's waiting for breakfast to be done too. Uh, I think you just did laundry. Do we have any more to do? All right, yeah, it works on thinking cute she's playing in her brother's room she's so cute i can't believe she's gonna age up already i feel like she just aged up to a toddler and there's gonna be a new baby in the house so she's not gonna be the baby girl anymore oh breakfast is done though oh of course you're eating by yourself oh he's level seven motor cool oh and she's level five thinking perfect okay let us have her eat then so Noelle is in her third trimester, so she gives birth soon. And ah. right now, Daniela thinks the baby is Ace's. And I think she's going to like call Ace over. She's been trying to get Noelle to get Ace to come over so they can talk about what the plan is going forward. But Noelle has been like ducking and dodging this whole pregnancy, telling Ace or inviting Ace over. Oh, speaking of Ace... um. He just called her. I want to make it seem like he called like, hey, do you guys want to like hook up again? And Danielle was like, yeah, you should come over maybe tomorrow or today, actually. <laughs> I think we're going to send the kids to their fathers, mostly because the new baby is coming and we want to make sure that we can focus on the new baby. And I feel like the father's mostly santos offered to help so the kids are gonna go stay with their fathers for like maybe just two days not long just two days so i'm gonna invite santos over convinced to come over she's like please i really need help <laughs> can you come over i feel like he's gonna have to call his dad over because i don't think his dad will come without him calling so let me have him stop call writing the bike because i think noelle and him just don't get along enough for josh to come over if she calls so yeah let her oh danielle is neat sure she's gonna take uh she's gonna take a shower was her uncle an elder he is oh oakley gen one well not gen one but kid from gen one invite her uncle in and santos is here too we just want to have santos take Hennessy. Oh no, her birthday's tomorrow. Maybe she's gonna spend her birthday with her dad, okay? Cause just one day then. We'll have him take her for one day. There's dirty food everywhere. I wonder if the kids can ask, like, can I stay? He's gonna invite his dad in. Oh, well, Hennessy's out here too. She's like, dad, can I go? You're supposed to be getting um child support from them too. I think I was doing every Monday and it's Monday now, but it's fine they're taking the kids okay wait this is the property owner oh she's in labor see this is why she needs them to take the kids please take the kids it's not even your kid he's like oh my goodness yes i'll take the kids take your kids <laughs> i can oh he took jameson i didn't even need astros let me see if he will take hennessy too okay good he's taking the kids for a day Josh didn't even help. That's why. Oh my goodness. And bills are due. Okay. He's picking up the kids. Let me. Too much. Pay, pay bills and rent. Santos for the win. Santos is taking both kids. I can't believe she's in labor. You guys. Craziness. All right. Stop talking to him. I. I feel like she. Daniela is going to invite Ace over. Like, oh my goodness. Your kid is coming. And I don't think. I think he's going to be like, um, I can't have kids. So in my head, I feel like uh, Ace 
had a vasectomy. So when he comes over and she's like, we need to go to the hospital. He's going to be like, there's no way that kid is mine because I had a vasectomy. Oh, Henny C is leaving. I'm going to miss her. I hope she doesn't age up without us. We, we sent her for one day. Let's see. Okay, Ace is here. Oh, not all the, not the baby father's meeting. Well, supposed baby fathers. I feel like Santos is like, congratulations. Um, I heard you got Noel pregnant. And he's like, what? Like, what? Look, look at his face, because I really think he gave him fake bad news, because this is fake news. Fake news. Let me control him so I can make sure he goes upstairs and sits so he can talk to Daniela. This is just so awkward. All right, here's Ace. Noel is in here doing some breathing exercises. They're getting ready to go to the hospital. She doesn't even know he's here. And Daniela is going to talk to him. Oh, he's on the computer. But let us have her... She's going to ask him, like, basically if he wants kids. Oh, okay. They're in, on good terms. He's like, I just heard Noelle's pregnant. Like, what's, what's that about? She's like, yeah, uh, it's your kid. He said, like, I don't think I want kids at the moment. I can't have kids. And she's like, what? What do you mean you can't have kids? Because Noelle said that she's pregnant by you. So she's going to kind of yell at him, kind of. Just a, just a tad bit, like, think he's lying. He's getting up like, oh, goodness, this is not my kid. Oh, yeah, she's yelling at him, all right. He's basically like, it's not my kid. You know, like, I don't know what to tell you. So I think she's going to call Noel out here. Let me see if Noel can say something to him. So she's going to have to come out here and lie to him and tell him that she he fathered her child. He's going to want a paternity test because he's like, I had a vasectomy. There's no way that kid is mine type of thing but what is she supposed to do her wife is sitting here like tell him that it's his so now she has to just tell him this lie <laughs> noelle is like i don't want to do this but she's like yeah it is your kid and he's like it's not my kid it's no way that that's my kid oh my goodness this is how he finds out when you're in labor now it's awkward i wonder what did he believe her um it's not pretty to lie but noelle has her reason she definitely does Noel's lover reacted poor, poorly to being um, told they are the parent of Noel's latest child. Let me see what he thinks. Mm. He doesn't feel anything. Let me see what he can say to her about this. I hope she doesn't just randomly give birth. I do want to go to the hospital. Deny. He's going to deny being the father. Wait, where'd she go? Oh, she's using the bathroom. All right, deny being father. You can't sleep right now. You have to you have to hear this. He's like, you need to tell her that what are you wearing? <laughs> what are you wearing, Daniela? He's like, I'm not the father. I'm I, that's not my kid. I had a vasectomy. He was like, if we can get tested right now, tested right now, I'm in labor. I don't know. I don't know why Daniela has that hazmat suit on. I wonder if this changes anything. Didn't father Noel's child. Yeah, he's like, you can't you can't trick me. He's like, I'm not dealing with this. When the baby's here, oh, deny service. What does that mean? I think he's like denying the kid. He's basically saying when the kid is here, I'm, I'm going to do a paternity test. He's like, I for sure did not father that kid. I don't care what you say. Okay, he's going home. He's like, that's not my kid. You need to go to the hospital still because either way you're in labor. So let's let's head over there. All right, we're here at the hospital. I don't know why Noelle is wearing this or her hair is like that. Just, just ignore it, okay? Just ignore it. All right, but she needs an epidural. So let's go and get one. And then I'm going to have her nap for a bit because she is tired. Okay, don't mess this up, girly. Okay, pain relief. So it worked. It's worked. All right, Noelle is up. She's really hungry, so she's going to eat. I know you technically can't eat before giving birth. I believe you can't, but this is a sim, so let's let her eat, and then she'll give birth. They haven't had a chance to really talk about the conversation, so she's going to be, like, expressed. I think through, like, this, we can uh, express suspicion with Ace. I know... It's like more with cheating, but she's like expressing like, is he really the father? He was adamant he had a vasectomy and he can't father your kid. And she's going to be like, every guy says that, like he's lying type of thing. But she's going to be a little mad. So they're going to argue about it afterwards. 
She's like, I'm in labor and you're bringing up who fathered my kid. Like, that's so rude. Like, you don't even know what I'm going through right now because you don't have kids and you're asking me this. And she's like, well, I have the right to be concerned because if it's not him, then who is it? Ooh, that's the real to you. If it's not him, then who is it? That's really what she wants to ask her. I don't know if she can. Okay, yeah, express. She's going to basically, she's not. She doesn't know Bryson, so she's not asking about Bryson, but she's expressing, like, if it's not his, then who is it? And I wonder if she's going to be honest um, about who it is. I don't think they they got through anything with that argument. She's like, then if it's not Ace's kid, it has to be someone else's. Harsha. And she's like, it's no one's. <laughs> Darling, you're worrying over nothing. We're just friends. Yeah, she lied to her. And I guess they're going to end it there. She feels fine from the reassurance. But they are going to do a paternity test when the baby gets here. But I think it's time to deliver this baby, right? All right, here we are. The birth of her third and final baby. Danielle is not interested in this birth at all. She is so unbothered. She's looking back like, ugh, I can't trust her. Poor Noel going through this pretty much alone, but like she brought this on herself, kind of. Okay, the girl is here. It's here. I know what name I'm gonna choose. Thank you so much for the name suggestions that you guys all left me. But Tabitha left me a name that I really, really like, and the name is Bailey. Um, after Bailey's, so Bailey stories. So we have our third and final kid. Here she comes into the world. Push, Noel, push. Oh, Danielle walked out of the room. She didn't even want to be here for the birth of the baby, but baby girl's here. How cute. Congratulations, Noelle. So cute. You guys know we're aging her up to an infant immediately. Immediately. Aw, cute. Cute. And I think immediately we're going to do this um, paternity test as well when we age her up. I think Ace is like is it my kid or not like i just want to prove this he knows it's not his kid but he just wants to prove it and i think danielle is gonna ask for a divorce so yeah let's let's head on home because you know had the baby all right now i know why she was wearing now i know why danielle was wearing that suit because we have mold everywhere and we have a new baby in this room with mold everywhere let's see if we can deploy Wait, wait, no, actually, actually, no, don't deploy, don't deploy, the baby shouldn't be around this. Oh my goodness, she's putting this chemical and her baby's right here, no! Is her baby okay? I don't know. Let's just, let's just age her up. Daniela went straight to sleep, she's like, I don't want anything to do with this baby. I'm ready to see this baby and what she looks like, so I'm so excited, let's age her up. So cute. Okay, wrong. Oh, and she's a cancer. Okay, and Bailey is going to be intense. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness, <laughs> Bailey, why? Okay, I'm going to go into Cass and give her a makeover. All right, here is little Bailey. I think she's so cute. She is so, so cute. She had blue eyes like her mom. Um, but they were like a different shade than Hennessy's. Hennessy's is a little darker. Hers is a little lighter. But she is so cute. Love her so much. She had like this ash blonde hair like her father which i think lets it lets um danielle know that this baby is definitely not aces because it, both ace and uh noel naturally have black hair so yeah but we're still gonna do the dna test um and everything like that but we're gonna do it in the morning it is like three in the morning right now so i'm gonna put them all to sleep and we'll pick back up at a suitable time to go into this paternity test for baby bailey all right, it's the next morning. Bailey is asleep and Noel and Danielle are eating. Oh, is the kids back home? Okay, the kids are coming back. Oh, goodness. I wanted them to wait, but they're coming back. And Danielle called Ace over to see if he can do the paternity test now that... Oh, he's here. Now that Hennessy... Or not Hennessy. Now that Bailey is here in the world and an infant. I think it's, it's time to do this test. Oh, this outfit is so nice. He's like money okay too bad he's not your baby father because i feel like he has money all right anyway let's see if we can get this done mm, i don't even know if we can do a paternity test mm. 
Oh, he's about to be an elder in a day. He's like, this baby's not mine. He literally ages up to an elder right now. It's his birthday today. <laughs> he's waking her up. He's like, is, is this baby mine? Okay. Let's see if Noelle can introduce him to the baby. She's crying and everything because he woke her up. <laughs> oh, he went to go get a drink. Okay. All right, we're feeding Bailey. How did Hennessy come back but not? Is it because it's her birthday? Mm, let me see if we could do a cake for, for Hennessy. All right, finally, we're introducing Bailey to Ace. This is so awkward because she knows it's not his. Her, his. her first visitor. Oh, she instantly is like, he's like, this is not my kid. I don't even think we can. Yeah, I think he can just deny it. He's like, it's a cute kid, but here's my proof. I'm, let's just say he brought proof that, that he had a vasectomy. So he's going to deny being the father again. And I think he's also going to sever a tie with these girls. He's like, this is just too messy for me. Girl, where are you going? Yeah, he's telling her like, listen, that's not my kid. And I'm sorry. I, I do wish y'all well. How sad. All right. Right now he's telling them that, oh, telling Noelle he can't continue with this with her. And it's just too messy. Too messy. I don't know if he can tell Danielle the same thing. Oh, whoa. They're not friends at all from this. He tried though. He was like, listen, this is not, this is not for me. This whole thing. I thought it was. Let's see if he can tell. I want him to ask Danielle to be just friends as well. Danielle is putting, <laughs> of course, somebody's taking care of Noelle's no kids cream. again. Oh, we can't read her story. Okay, but we at least put her to bed. Oh, and she's overhearing this. How awkward. Just go to sleep. Okay, mm -hmm. they're breaking it off. Mm -hmm. He's like, it's, listen, she's not my kid. Huh? I wish y'all well. Honestly, if I was you, I would leave Noelle because clearly Bruce. she got something Just else going on. So. Oh. oh, and he's still flirting with her. Uh. Not them about to end up together after all of this. Okay, I think she's saying goodbye to him, though. He was like, but if you break up with her, call me. Just just call me. Ace is such a player. All right, I think she's talking to Cleo. Oh, yeah, she is. Cleo's like, I heard you, you yelling. Are, is everything okay? And she's like, yeah, everything's fine. No, everything is not fine. Are they over here flirting still? Please. Okay, no, they don't have any romance. She's gonna come and try to offer her rose, like try to be um, like smooth with it. I don't know why Jameson didn't come home. Yeah. Danielle accepted the rose, but she she knows something else is going on. And of course, they're still arguing. And honestly, Danielle can't do this. So I think we're gonna just divorce. She knows that Noelle cheated. It's not Ace's kid. She won't tell her who the real baby father is. And she just doesn't have time to deal with this. Like, if she's not gonna be truthful, I feel like if she was being truthful about it, she wouldn't have done this. But since she's not being truthful, I think it's leading to divorce. And Noelle can't believe it. She thought Danielle would stay through it, but. Oh, and Danielle's gloomy now. She's definitely sad from this. Oh, Daniela still feels deeply in love and is resentful about the divorce, but she's still furious about the cheating. She has to do what's best for her. Honestly, Daniela, stand up for yourself. Huh? She's like, I'm, I think it's best if I just leave and move out. She's going to take half this money too, probably even more because a lot of it is her money. So yeah, but it's it was nice being married for like two episodes to Daniela, but I don't blame Daniela for doing this divorce. Um, I think I'm going to move Daniela out next episode just because I think I want to end this episode with aging up Hennessy. Oh, Hennessy is in a terrible mood. Oh, goodness. Okay, let us give her a bubble bath. Bailey's in a terrible mood as well. I can't believe our little one is about to age up. So crazy. So, so crazy. All right. She's done with her bath. Oh, she looks so cute. We're inviting her brother over because, like, where is he, honestly? But then I'm going to age up Hennessy. I'm so excited. Jameson's been gone like this whole episode. Oh, look at her. Still taking care of the kids for us. Okay, I think it's time. Are we going to age her up? How exciting. How exciting. Happy birthday, Hennessy. Cute. Um, hmm. Jameson. Should Jameson be in summer school? Nah, it's fine if he's on summer break. Okay, Hennessy aged up. I don't know what traits to give her because I don't know who's going to be next gen. Um, dang. Okay, let's see what, what we can make her. We'll make her determined. 
maybe a perfectionist. I'll make her analytical as well. And then I'll give her, hmm, maybe the mental a child whiz. Cute. All right, I'm gonna give her a makeover because I can't believe she's a kid. All right, here is Hennessy, all made over. She's so cute. I love her. Oh wait, I forgot her birthmark. Okay, good. Here's Hennessy. I love this outfit. She has definitely like a relaxed style. Definitely. She's so cute though. So, so cute. Um, We're gonna head back into game. All right, I'm gonna end the episode off here with Hennessy giving her brother a hug because though they seem very happy, their mom is going through a divorce. So we're gonna deal with that next time. They have a new baby sister, a lot of changes, a lot of changes. But the next time we play, we will be still in this apartment small apartment with three kids and now we have to kind of get bryson on board with being a father to bailey but yeah i had so much fun this episode let me know how you think whimsy stories is going and can't wait to play again next time i hope all of you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you guys all next time bye everyone